What is the relationship between vascular surgeons and interventional radiologists in Germany? Of the day, yes. At least in the past, they tolerated our vascular interventions or they rejected them. Now they learned that these interventions really work for the benefit of the patient, so they try to jump on the running train and to learn it themselves. I think the best way to do it is to be in a center where the specialists work closely together. But as you know, there are always some people who want to dominate the scenery. And so it's sometimes the radiologist who is doing perhaps more than it's good for the patient with interventional means. And on the other hand, there are surgeons who try to learn it. And that requires some time and also the training facilities because it cannot be done in the operative theater so easily. You need a really good and your equipment, so I, I believe more in cooperation to have good experiences in my own hospital. Five years from now, how will the landscape of vascular therapies look alike? There are already very eager colleagues from vascular surgery who have uh, founded new societies like a society of uh, endovascular surgery. That's a new expression, so they changed the word. It's not intervention, it's surgery. Also, our National German Society is now not only a society of vascular surgery, but of vascular and endovascular surgery. So the intention is very clear. They want to learn it because they are very anxious to lose a large part of their daily routine work uh, because this is done today with minimal invasive techniques and vascularly. What contributions can a company like Datascope Intervascular make to improve the relationship between interventional radiologists and vascular surgeons? Yes, what we do in our own department, we offer courses for interventions and that we offer open to everybody who is interested. So it's not restricted only to interventional radiologists, neuroradiologists, angiologists, cardiologists, but everybody who is interested can come so he has a chance to see on site how these interventions are performed. And then he can come in a guest status to the department and stay there for a couple of weeks and can be involved in these things. I think that's a better way than to start as an autodidact in your own surgical department, uh, telling yourself and the patient that when something went amiss, you can repair it surgically. That's not a good way.